Never seen before across the state, water is growing scarce. Meanwhile, the climate is also changing and millions of people are moving here in industries that need water to thrive or planting roots. KXAN is in partnership with the political website The Hill and it's taking a closer look at these issues in a new ongoing series called Dried Up. Now, one of the main reasons water supplies are dwindling, a population boom and builders in a desperate race just to keep up with the growing demand for housing. And how are these new developments, though, impacting our local aquifers? KXAN's Eric Henriksen takes a closer look at the mad dash to drill for water and how we could be approaching a point of no return. In the 1950s, our drought of record in Texas, we had about 800,000 people in the Texas Hill Country. Today, that number is closer to 3 million. Catherine Romans has been closely monitoring the immense growth in the Hill Country. She says that the area is home to three of the five fastest growing counties in the country. And inevitably, those folks are, are bringing more demand for water resources. With the explosive growth, the wells right now, and wells that they're monitored by the groundwater district there, are at the lowest point that I've ever seen. Hydrologist Doug Weirman says when developments need water, they must first file a permit with a local groundwater conservation district. Groundwater conservation districts are our primary vehicle for keeping count of new domestic wells as well as permitted commercial or development wells. Doug says districts can permit a development to draw as much water as they want, but they must be able to justify the amount. They have to show the water is available, do the aquifer pump test. But aquifers are having a harder time refilling. If you're covering up the aquifer surface with roads and rooftops, you're taking away that area for infiltration. Aquifers where water is stored can refill, but each one does so differently. The Edwards Aquifer is very karstic, very porous. It fills up quickly. The Trinity Aquifer uh, is slower. The Ogallala up in the Panhandle, it basically doesn't recharge. And they're pumping water and they're just basically going to pump it dry. Catherine says she worries that many developers don't realize the impact they're having on Texas water. Is there a point of no return with these developments? Absolutely. I wake up in the middle of the night worrying about the hill country increasingly inching towards that tipping point where we may not realize it for several years down the line, but where our demand for water resources has outpaced the ability of our aquifers and rivers to uh, replenish them themselves. And that was our Eric Henriksen reporting. Tomorrow, we're getting an exclusive look at a development looking to conserve water and why the owner of a nearby nature reserve worries what the developer is doing simply isn't enough.